The Japanese government introduced a bill Friday to recognize the country's ethnic Ainu minority as an indigenous people for the first time, after decades of discrimination against the group. Here's a summary of the article. Tokyo. The Japanese government introduced a bill Friday to recognize the country's ethnic Ainu minority as an indigenous people for the first time, after decades of discrimination against the group. The Ainu people, many of whom live in northern Hokkaido, have long suffered the effects of a policy of forced assimilation, and while discrimination has receded gradually, income and education gaps with the rest of Japan persist. It is important to protect the honor and dignity of the Ainu people and to hand those down to the next generation to realize a vibrant society with diverse values, top government spokesman Yoshihide Suga told reporters. The bill is the first to recognize the Ainu as indigenous people and calls for the government to make forward-looking policies, including measures to support communities and boost local economies and tourism. Like many indigenous people around the world, most of Japan's Ainu have lost touch with their traditional lifestyle after decades of forced assimilation policies. It is the first step for ensuring equality under the law. Mikiko Maruko, who represents a group of Ainu people in eastern Japan near Tokyo, told AFP. There are lots of things to be done, for example, creating a scholarship for families who struggle to send their children to high schools, she added, a system currently only available to Ainu in Hokkaido. It is a major step forward on policies toward the Ainu people, said Masashi Nagara, chief of the Ainu Policy Bureau of the Hokkaido Prefectural Government that has spearheaded policies for the ethnic minority. This post received a score of 7,184, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It doesn't mean that the bill is as passed. The bill was just introduced right in the title and there is a chance on not getting it passed. The government has a two-thirds majority in the Diet, if Abe wants it passed it will pass. He is probably throwing a bone at his moderate wing to keep them satisfied long enough to finally change Article 9 since he set the deadline for that in 2020 and having a new emperor is the perfect opportunity to reform the post-war constitution. Yes, but it looks like this bill also has to do with the recent development of the Kuril Island dispute with Russia. I guess Abe need to throw a bone to get the locals to back them to get Kuril Islands back. Interesting article on the matter. Dang. Thanks for this info. It sounds like a very political move now rather than a human rights issue. That's the thing with politics. If a human rights movement has the power to sway a large group of people into supporting a certain political agenda, it is very difficult for me to believe that the movement in question has a genuine and compassionate basis. Greater than if a human rights movement has the power to sway a large group of people into supporting a certain political agenda, it is very difficult for me to believe that the movement in question has a genuine and compassionate basis. That is completely true, but that also doesn't mean a political movement can't be used to advance the cause of human rights. Right on, now that their culture and language are essentially wiped out, let's go on ahead and protect them. True. They only have ten native speakers left. Kuril Ainu died out some time ago, it isn't known exactly when. The last speaker of Sakhalin Ainu died in 1994. The only surviving form of Ainu is Hokkaido Ainu, which is very, very close to extinction. Yeah people forget that often with indigenous languages there are many, distinct registers, dialects, etc., that are not necessarily mutually intelligible. Of course this is case with pretty much every language historically to a certain extent, but most of those varieties were killed off while building modern nation-states, although some are, are still relatively commonly used, for example German dialects, Flemish versus Dutch, Italian, Spanish, although in all those examples it was mostly a result of those languages being under multiple states for prolonged periods, rather than one polity. MTHIs is also a problem with many modern attempts to preserve them because they often pick one and let the rest die out, which is just unfortunate. Obviously it's better than nothing but we should be attempting to preserve the Ainu languages plural, rather than the Ainu language singular. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.